Well, the second-year pro out of Stanford. He's leaned on Neko Gumake from time to time. Here's Mitchell. She buries a three. Pondexter is likely going to be used as much for her veteran leadership as Ben Abdel Kader responds for Indiana. Beard had it poked away. Mitchell tried to rescue it. Tapped ahead by a Chanwa. And a great play. That'll set up a Tiffany Mitchell layup. As basketball injuries tend to go, if they're willing to list a player as questionable, it means that they are likely sooner rather than later. As Kelsey Mitchell knocks down a long two. Mitchell has seven. I passed Alexander. Good defense from Alexander for Indiana. Now Kelsey Mitchell. This is where she's at her strength in transition. Out to Tiffany. Or two of five. And you see Kelsey Mitchell. Mitchell has seven and give her nine. What a run, definitely a bright spot and probably a teaching point when they hit the locker room. Alexander, the fake, got a Gumake into the air and Alexander finishes. I lead you to believe it's coming fairly soon. Listed as questionable, she's not with the team. Mitchell from the corner, she knocks it down. They're at 50% now on the night. Remember, they were at 81% after the first. Achanwa, good position. And Indiana within single digits for the first time since the first quarter. For Indiana and the Fever, a chance to cut closer into this lead as Kelly, Kelsey Mitchell goes into the lane. And Kelsey Mitchell now has 15. And Indiana's within seven to get there. But with younger players, it's very often the eye test versus the box score as she'll fire a three and hit. So right on cue, Kelsey Mitchell hits her second.